97underground.com, Baltimore's pure rock. Hello, this is Michael Spedden, and thanks for joining us today on the 97underground.com Michael Spedden Interviews channel here on YouTube. There have been many requests from both listeners and guests for us to make available our artist interviews so they can listen again or share with others. You can find us on YouTube at at 97underground Michael Spedden. Remember, the back of the rack, the Michael Spedden Show can be heard on 97underground.com every Tuesday from 4 to 6 p.m. Eastern. Not only do I feature artist interviews, I feature songs you forgot you liked, classics that never die, beloved local, regional, up-and-coming, and underground artists. You can listen anytime, anywhere by downloading our free app from 97underground.com. Just do it. And now, today's episode. Black Leg Miner has just released a CD, a five-song EP, with Matt Higgins on guitar and backing vocals, Tommy Azanero on drums, C.J. Murphy on rhythm and lead guitars and lead vocals, and they've recently welcomed Nando Corrado to the band. The EP was produced by Brett Hunt and mixed and mastered by Jeff Chance at Cat Daddy Studios in Nashville, Tennessee. We talked about the EP, shared stories about the club scene from years ago and today, talking about playing original music in Baltimore and much, much more. Enjoy the episode. And welcome back to the Back of the Rack, the Michael Spedden Show on 97underground.com, Baltimore's Pure Rock Worldwide. And today, we have a very special guest. The band Black Leg Miner has joined us to talk about their new EP, Canary Down. And uh, with us today, we have Matt Higgins. We have Tommy Azanaro, CJ Murphy. And Nando, so welcome, guys. It's good to see everybody. Exciting news about the EP, huh? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, hell yeah. Well, right. great. I got my copy the other day. I was looking through it. You know, I love the uh, or album art on the front. You know, that was just, that's a classic right there. Canary down. Yeah, when we and, go to mines, we always take our canary with us. Exactly, exactly. And uh, the material's good, too. I've been listening to it. You know, great stuff. Now, where was this recorded? I was recorded here at um, Orion Studios. Okay, and where's that? Yeah, in, in Baltimore, Maryland. And okay. And mixed by Jeff Chance at Cat Daddy Studios down in Nashville. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, Jeff Chance, of course. Oh, boy, he's uh, a lot of people know him around here. I've met him a number of times. A good guy, good guy musician played in a lot of bands around here and he's been i know he's been in tennessee for a good while now right he helped us through a ton of technical challenges he did, he did a good job with it yeah he did i, th I think he did I, again i was listening to it i really liked the stuff on there and of course uh brett is listed as your producer <laughs> mm -hmm. brett Hunt. Yeah, he is couldn't have done it without it he is a major part of this band he, he keeps us on track well that's great <laughs> that's great we're focusing on what we need to do that's right yep. if the tempo is off we'll know about it oh sure hey you need that extra yeah, set I, of I ears hear about that all the time <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's got to drive you up the wall huh tom <laughs> occasionally well, i'm i'm used to it because i did i did two uh with my previous man with my with my late wife i did a couple uh cds in the studio so to mm -hmm. click track so i'm used to you know the word click track you know that, that usually makes people you know run uh oh, for yeah, cover I, yeah yeah but once you get used to it you know there's really you know once people finally break down and they get used to doing it and everything it's kind of you know they couldn't do it without it yeah but you know a lot of, a lot of the guys i've i've heard lately uh interviews i've seen a lot of the a lot of the big boys say they don't use it anymore right know? in the studio anymore but you know i did it on our on uh our second cd with my wife but you know i did it you know and i was like i told her driving home from the studio a couple times man i'm i'm dreaming his click track <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know i know you get used to listening to that you know you start looking around the room to see if there's a bomb anywhere you know oh, yeah. That. <laughs> yeah. we uh like to use a click track that has a cowbell sound in the practice room when Tommy's not here. And uh we like to we we drive everybody else in the entire building crazy. Yeah. Bom, bom, yeah. Bom, bom. Oh jeez. <laughs> sometimes they like to use it when I am here because they say you're not you're at your tempo's off. <laughs> yeah, but but you know drummers, their slogan is the tempo is what, what I, I say. say it is. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> exactly. They overrule the click track every day, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
That clip track is wrong. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> clip, track, clip track speeding up. What the hell's wrong with it? Right, exactly. Exactly. Sounds like little kids playing computer games. The computer cheats, you know, it's one of those things. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, again, it's a great sounding EP and everything, and I really enjoyed the songs off of it. You know, I've I've been listening to it. You know, I, I really can't wait to start playing it on ninety seven. You know, we're gonna be actually debuting the songs today and have you, you know, in our rotation on my show i mean the back of the rack coming up yeah definitely uh looking forward to sharing it with everybody here why don't we roll a song huh which yeah, one do we want to start with today let's start off with tequila no more tequila no more here we are this is black leg minor folks <laughs> Chica elegante But led to my conviction Never fit the law, your honor Till tonight But my record shed a slightly different light Hey, Bonita, kiss the judge and I'm out of here She said, pay for me el culo I said, bring it here I ain't drinking a key love. I ain't drinking a key love no more. I ain't drinking a key love. I ain't drinking a key love no more. Ninety days to ponder. And for my correction, what did I do but wander back to my misdirection? She gave me the battle share, not my fault. Mm-hmm. I admit my tongue was on her. Lime and salt. Got a new tattoo while I was in this She said, Well, the pronto, Bobby. I said, Adios. I ain't drinking a key love. I ain't drinking a key love no more. I ain't drinking a key love. I ain't drinking a key love no more, no more, no more. I ain't drinking a key love no more. tune great tune i really like that and i hope i believe our audience will too because if they're listening to my show they've got nothing but the best taste right yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. exactly yeah. yep great great so uh so nando uh your uh new 
to the band. You've been with them, I guess, just a couple of months now, I guess, right? Yeah, well, it's been, yeah, two months now. Yeah, exactly. Well, welcome aboard. How do you like it so far, huh? I, I really like it. I appreciate them uh, asking me to join the the group of guys here. Uh, good music, you know. It's something that uh, I enjoy doing, you know. Uh, and I've known CJ for a little while and Tom. Mm-hmm. Uh, We're new friends. And Brett, as a matter of fact. <laughs> he usually does not admit to that. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Can we scrub that from... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> But no, they're they're a good group of guys, and I appreciate them asking me to join this. You know, right, right. So where were who were you playing with before? I was with a tribute band with the last one that was Rebel Soul, and we were a tribute, a uh, Kid Rock tribute band. Kid Rock. Yes. Yeah. So that was a lot of fun too. So. I bet. No, uh, I was. Uh, it was a long time ago. I was with uh, Iron Man, which. Uh, was a Black Sabbath tribute, and then they went uh, doom metal. Sure, yeah, I, th- I've, I think I've seen them on Facebook years ago. Yeah. yeah, yeah, left-handed guitar player. Yeah, that was Al. He passed away. What was it? Three years now. Oh, maybe? okay, right. Yeah. Uh, he he passed away. God rest his soul. But yeah, he was a great guitarist. Uh, mm-hmm. Love playing with him. Yeah, well, yeah, that's great. It's a shame to hear about that, though. I wasn't aware of his passing. Yeah, Tom, you know, I've been looking, of course, you know, I've met you guys and you know, I've been nosy looking at your Facebooks and stuff and, you know, seeing, you know, not only about this band, but, you know, who you've been playing with before. And Tom, I mean, you've got a list of people you've been yeah. playing with for many years. Well, I've been, I've been doing this for, <laughs> I get my age away here, but I've been doing this in the area and, and, nationally for many let's say many years many years yeah there. that's right uh, yeah mm-hmm. and you're originally and from it, the midwest it wasn't just white before <laughs> yeah <laughs> and i came aboard this uh, band uh, last september okay okay and i had been playing with a uh cover band for nine years before that i left that band and didn't really know what i was going to do the next you know after that, I didn't really think I wanted to do another cover band. Mm-hmm. And the very next day, I get a text message from CJ. Hey, we're looking for a drummer. Are you interested? I'm going, wow. Yeah, <laughs> but, hey. You know. So I came in and, and you know, he sent me sent me some uh, links to the songs that they had written, what they were doing. Mm-hmm. And I said, yeah, I think I'd like to do this. Let me come in and meet everybody. And, you know, I came in and Came aboard in, in September, and uh, like you, as you know, Nando just came aboard. We were we were without a bass player for from. I'm, I'm the one that actually approached me. Yeah, oh, I, uh, okay. We you know we just we're, couldn't find we couldn't find the bass player. Yeah, yeah, couldn't find the bass player we were looking for. We hmm. just you know, it was a certain certain thing we were looking for in a bass player, and it just happened to run into Nando at at Morrisburg's at that show, and he said, "Hey, what's going on?" You know, what are you up to? And I told him about this band. He said, how's it going? And I said, great, but when am I a bass player? <laughs> and he said, here I am. <laughs> oh, there I you said, go. Really? I said, He's... yeah, I said, this is all original. And he said, hey, you know. Even better. Well, hey, that sounds like the easiest audition you've probably had, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it was, you know. Yep. Yeah, well, we, great. We had to turn down that kid, uh, what was his name, McCartney? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that guy, whatever happened, whatever became of him, I wonder. Probably not much, huh? <laughs> well, let's go ahead. Let's let's spin another one here. Um, this is one called "Kiss All Night." Tell me a little bit yeah. about this before we roll it. Well, um, this is a song that uh, I started writing. I actually started writing it a couple of years ago because our previous drummer told me that um, some of my songs were too complicated. Uh-huh. And he pointed at a poster of Kiss that we had on the uh, rehearsal studio wall. He said, remember Kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> and I'm like, I, and uh, as I was driving home that night, I thought, you know, Kiss, Kiss, well, how do you like to kiss? Well, and really, lyrically and musically, the song was about 90% done on my drive from uh, Baltimore back to Westminster. 
great. Hey, you know, some things yeah, just come to you. Other things you really thing. beat. You know, some things you really beat your head over. Other things just kind of come to you. Huh? So let's go ahead and spin it. This is Kiss All Night.
understand that you know, you've been releasing videos as well as just the, you know, audio tracks of your songs, of course, for sale. And, um, you know, a recent video here for Go For Your Life has just been released. Tell us about that. Uh, well, it was uh, it was put together by a co-worker of mine. I think it looks pretty good. It's uh, my fabulous lyrics are on full display. And um, we actually had to do a second version of it because the first version of it was done um, before Nando joined the band. Mm. And then I got pressure, you know, we got to put his ugly mug in there <laughs> next to my ugly mug and uh, everyone else's uh, reasonably handsome mugs. <laughs> But I, I think you'll like it. Go for your life is a real, a real anthem type song. You know, as has not been unknown in rock and roll. You know, you want to get people pumped up, singing along, jumping and shouting, rocking and rolling, mm -hmm. all that kind of. Stuff. Absolutely. And for those of you who uh, who want to, we also have a video for the song you guys already heard, Tequila, made by the uh, very wonderful and talented Jeff Chance. Actually, yeah, uh, he used a bunch of Lego figures. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> Jeff's great. It's, cool uh, you know, it's on our YouTube and Facebook. Yeah, don't see Legos in rock and roll too often, do you? <laughs> no, no, no. I'll have to check that yeah. out, too. You know, Je yeah, Jeff is just such a talented guy. He's such a talented guy. He's done so many things, and, and I've, you know, I've seen him around. Uh, he's always a big supporter of the music, always very active and a big supporter of the music scene, too, when he was here. And I'm sure he's doing the same thing down in Tennessee, you know? And oh, yeah. It's funny. It's funny, Mike. As long as I've been doing this in this area, and you know, did the you know, uh, I have never run across, and I told you, I've never run, I've never met Jeff, yeah. mm -hmm. never met him. I've been doing this a long time around here. It's just fun. I don't, you know, I, I really don't know him. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right, right. Mm -hmm. I, I know the name. I've heard the name. Mm -hmm. Oh, you've heard his work. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully it speaks work. for itself. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I used to see, God, he was in a band called The Vamps years ago, and I used to see I them. I know, know that band, yeah. Yep. yep. I used to see them at Maxwell's all the time. They used oh to have God, team nights, you know, at Maxwell's back in the 80s. They would have them yeah, and the Ravens. Yeah, you go back to my history. My uh, history, Mike. My time. I remember <laughs> seeing The Vamps once playing in the cafeteria of UMBC. <laughs> wow. I think I may remember that, too. <laughs> Tell you what, they had a huge following. They sure did. Yeah. They yeah. sure did. Of course, you know, again, Jeff, you know, everybody loves Jeff. Great guy. You know, he's just, uh, you know, awesome. Well, great, great. Let's go ahead and give this one a spin here. This is Go For Your Life. Feel it in your bones 
coming down like lightning to your power zone. You want it, want it. You need it, need it. Come get it, get it. Ah. Get some tonight. You want it. Again, another great song, folks. You know, this is a this is an EP well worth checking out here. So uh, tell us, guys, uh, where can we find out more about Black Leg Minor shows, how to get your stuff, all that good news. Tell us. We really hope you guys like what you're hearing. And, yeah, if you want more, we have a Facebook, facebook.com backslash Black Leg Minor. You can find us on YouTube under the same name. And as far as buying copies of the album, we have a band camp. Bandcamp.com backslash Black Leg Miner. You can buy physical copies. You can buy digital to own, and it will be available on all major streaming platforms, Spotify, Apple Music, you name it. You have it. You're going to be able to stream it. Um, uh, it should already be about by the time you guys are hearing us. And you'll also be able to message us directly on www.blacklegminer.com and uh, let us know what you think. Absolutely. Great, great. And how about shows? Are there any shows coming up or anything announced yet? Uh, our manager, Brett, is in the process of uh, seeing what we can do. We're shooting for a, uh, a end of April, beginning of May to start getting out there. We're still in the process of writing. And, sure, you know, yeah. Writing some more material and everything, getting enough of stuff put together to be able to go out and do, you know, full sets anyway. Mm-hmm. You know, right. We, we may be doing a show at Morris Burgers with 97. Yes. Hey, yeah. we're trying to set that up. Maybe oh, absolutely, that. absolutely. And I tell you that that's a great bar. That's a great bar. They call yeah, themselves yeah. a little dive bar, but I mean, it, it's a great room. I mean, I it's just as big as like the Rage and Feathers and all those places we used to play. Yeah, you know, big, I mean, it's as big as Henny Max or someplace like that. And it's yeah, and and I like the way they're catering to original bands in there. Yes, I like the way I like the way they stepped it up. From what it used to be, like you said, yeah, it was it was pretty much a dive bar, you know. Now mm-hmm. it's not quite; it's more like a jump bar. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah I, th- I think Morse Burgers is going to be, um, you know, the start of something good for original bands around this area. Other bands too, but yep, of course, originals are where we're at. All yeah. kidding aside, though, it is a it is a nice venue now. Yeah. <laughs> Great, great. Well, guys, uh, well, Black Leg Miner, um, I love, I, I'm glad that you came by to see us today at 97 Underground. You know, I'm loving the material. It's sounding great. And folks, you heard it. Uh, you heard from the, right from the horse's mouth, right from Black Leg Miner's mouth, where you can get their stuff, where you can hear their material, where you can, you know, be able to see them when the dates come up and everything. So get out and support these guys, folks. And thanks again, fellas, for joining us today. We really appreciate it. Thank you very, very much.
Thank All you, right, man. folks, you're listening to the back of the rack, the Michael Spedden show on 97 underground.com, Baltimore's pure rock worldwide. And we'll be back right after these words. Woo-hoo. Okay, folks. And that was black leg minor coming to join us tonight to talk about their EP. Looking forward to seeing these guys get out and play. It's going to be great. So stick around. You're listening to the back of the rack, the Michael Spedden show on 97 underground.com. Baltimore is pure rock worldwide, and we will be back right after these words with a whole bunch of more good old stuff. And thanks again for listening to 97 Underground, the Michael Spedden interviews, and we hope you enjoyed today's show. Remember, download the free app from 97underground.com so you can listen to us wherever you go. The Back of the Rack, the Michael Spedden Show can be heard on 97underground.com every Tuesday from 4 to 6 p.m. Eastern. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time. Listen anytime, anytime, anywhere. Metal, metal. Worldwide metal, 24-7. 97underground.com.